I'm here near a pond in uh, northern Ohio. That sound you hear is eastern gray tree frogs. And since we're in northern Ohio, there are eastern gray tree frogs here, instead of Cope's gray tree frogs, which we find in southern Ohio. You can tell by their call. You hear that? That's a large bird in there somewhere. But those calls are a much slower trill uh, compared to the Cope's gray tree frog. Uh, which is a much faster trill. It's almost like a short American toad call. That's one of the main ways you can distinguish them, actually. Pretty much the only way. Um, because physically, their appearance is pretty much identical. As you can see, I caught a pretty good sized one here, and he's actually green. Most of the time they're gray, they can be dark gray, light gray, they can actually change colors, and they can also change to a shade of green as well. Usually they're greener when they're younger, but this is a pretty good sized guy, and he's green. I just love their cool pattern. They have like, they still have those markings on the back, with, but it's like a different shade of green. The Cope's gray tree frog is Hylochrysosilus. The eastern gray tree frog is Hyla versicolor, that's their scientific names. Both those scientific names, their meanings refer to its appearance. Chrysosilus means uh, yellow spot, which refers to, I'll see if I can show you. He's just got those, that bit of yellow underneath his legs, which is used as a defense mechanism. So when they jump, that yellow kind of shines for a second and kind of discombobulates the predator for a second. And then Hyla versicolor, uh, versicolor refers to many colors. That's referring to how they can change color between dark gray, light gray, and green. Kind of like how I mentioned before. <laughs> this is so cool, being out here kind of in the middle of nowhere. Just near a pond in the middle of the forest. Catching gray tree frogs. Oh, well, there he goes. Could probably leave him now. So these guys are one of my favorite herps out of all herps because they're not only really common, they're just so they're so cool. They have those cool markings, they can change color. They're good size for a frog, uh, especially a tree frog. You can hear them all around us right now. It's similar to in southern Ohio with the Cope's gray tree frogs. It's just a slightly different species with a slightly different call. <laughs>